Hello friends, hello Photoshop lovers. Welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I was able to create this flyer in Photoshop, of course with easy steps like I've done in previous videos. Before I forget, if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and please turn on the post notification so you don't miss any of the videos I will open any time from now. Without having to waste more of your time, let's get started. So the first thing I'd like to do is um, click on file and I'll click on, I'm using um, inches. So I'm just going to set this, just give it a name like this. So this is going to be social media flyer, nothing uh, much social media flyer like this. And I'm going to change the size of five by five. That's what I'm using. The resolution stays at 300 RGB and um, every other thing here stays the same. So click on create like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is click on adjustment layer and click on solid color. This time, my background, I'm going to be using the solid white. So just copy my code and um, you can use it too for yours. All right, so just like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is, again, like you all know, the resource file is in the description of this video. Click on the link on the description of this video to download these files that you're seeing on your screen, right? So then of course this is the image i'm going to be using right so i have gone ahead to remove the background which is this picture you're seeing here so i'm just going to drag and um, place it inside of my composition or my design like this right so the first thing i want to do is click on mask like this and i'm going to select my brush which is this one make sure you're selecting the soft round brush like we've done in previous video i'm going to increase the flow up to 100 right i'm going to increase the size of the brush using my bracket key and i'm going to get rid of these edges here like this all right just like this and that's all so i'm going to select the image go to filter and i'm going over to where i have camera row select camera row and um, let's go make some changes inside so this is camera row, right so i'll start with the basics so i'm scrolling down i'm going to bump up the texture to 100 clarity so basically just copy my settings right and i'm um, going to saturation minus 100 and um, the contrast i'm going to take this up just like this and um, the shadows i'm going to bring them down like this also the blacks like this and um, what else do i need to do uh, okay last one i'm going to go to details and I'm going to sharpen this image just a bit, right? So it's very necessary for um, this particular composition or this particular design, right? So I have this, you can see how this has been transformed. Great. So Ctrl T and I'm going to make this um, slightly bigger. I'm going to move it a little bit to the right like this and uh, click enter when you're done, just like this. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the source file and I'm going to bring this uh, construction site image, right? Drag and drop, basically that's what I'm doing. If you don't want to use drag and drop, you can use the place embedded command. So I'm going to move it up here like this, right? And click enter. The next thing I'm going to do is, so it blends well with everything I'm creating, go to filter and uh, go to camera raw and um, let it open up. I'm going to sharpen this. And I'm going to the basics and I'm just going to copy my settings for this. Reduce the saturation also like this and um, bump up the texture and click OK like this. Nicely done. Right? So with this one, I'm just going over to make a duplicate copy, Ctrl J. I'm going to hide this for now while I work on this. So with this one, I'm going to create a mask on it. But before I do that, um, I will clip it to the layer below. So I'll just right click and select clipping mask and clip it to the image of the man. Make sure the image is directly above it to, so that this uh, clipping mask will be effective. So I'm just going to use my um, mouse to move this to a side. I know it's going to be okay. Um, I'm just moving this away from it like this gradually. So with this, I'm just going to mask this out because I don't want it on the entire image. So create a mask and uh, go over to your brush. Make sure your foreground color is black. And uh, I'm going to reduce my flow to like 73. 
and um, gradually I'm just going to erase these areas like this and um, just make sure you're very very delicate when you're doing this so on this one I'm going over to the image of the man itself it has a mask already so I'm just going to conceal these areas here like this now the beautiful thing about this effect is when it's done well right so I'm just going to hide this part here like this not entirely but a little little um, little little aspects so with this one on top this one this image I'm going to drag it down here and I'm um, going to turn it on right create a mask on it too so I'm going to get rid of these sharp edges of course you know that's a thing that we should do right so i'm going to get rid of them and i'm going to clean off like this clean off like this and um, also this part too okay clean off like this this way and i'm going to drop down the opacity like this um ctrl t um, i like to make this slightly bigger a bit move it to this side just make sure it aligns with the first image directly on top of the image of the man that's the engineer himself and um, click enter like this right so um, the image of the man I'm just gonna push this down slightly and um, with this one the image on top I'm just gonna move it to position like this great good so I'm just going to reduce the, this one the opacity reduce it and um, I think this is nice so it depends on what works for you right so but these are the settings that actually work for me I'm going to reduce this also so it's not too much like this with this one I'm just going to remove these areas here and um, turn down the flow down drastically and um, gradually do this around these areas for this one also i'm going to do the same thing and i'm going to conceal these areas so my text has a place to actually rest on right great okay so this has been nicely executed create a new layer here and i'll go over to my text tool and i'm just going to type so basically i'm using a mont font m-o-n-t that's the font right a heavy one so i'm going to use it there um make it bigger ctrl t and increase the size right just like this and position it here like this okay now that i have this in place i'm just going to make a duplicate copy of this ctrl j i'm going to put this down here like this and um i'm just going to spell this out well ure for future and i'm going to put this here in balance well right so what i'm going to do is select the two of them hold down shift ctrl t and uh, make this slightly bigger it doesn't have to be too big just like this we're good to go right so i'm just going to this is the color i use this is the color code so you can use that also right so i'm going to group them ctrl g and um, create a new layer above it and i'm going to click on create clipping mask go over to my pen to like this change the color to this um, i'll show you the color code this is the color code right so copy that and uh, put and click out and i'm just going to do something like this follow my steps one two three so I'm around here and um close it up here like this that's four and voila when you click out this is what you have right so that this is more like um the united states flag kind of like something that that's the idea behind this so i'm just going to increase um this like this and um I'm just going to go on and bring in some other details that are typed out um, so save us time in this particular video so I'm just going to bring this in and I'm just going to um, ctrl T 
um, it's not quite where I want them to be so I'm just going to increase them like this and voila there you go click enter so this is it create another layer above this and I'm going to bring in this element which is the cloud Wow, that looks nice there but then I have other plans for it so I'm just going to position this here and turn this on right so build a successful car successful and fulfilling future study civil engineering in the United States contact us today and blah 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 so I'm gonna bring this in like this and um, drag inside here like this and um, of course make it smaller and I'm gonna position this here like this somewhere around here great like this okay okay now right about now uh, you can just end this up and wow your flyer you done creating everything everything is nice and good but then uh, before I go to that angle there are some things I oh, of course naturally like this it's nice and all of that but then um, it's always nice we add some finishing touch so what I'll do is I'll go to my color picker select this color and um, of course I'm doing this on the new layer right so with my brush selected I'm going to increase the flow to 100 I'm just going to um, okay this is a safe place I'm just going to put somewhere here like this it's just one click one click and um, I'm going to change the blend mode to color dodge add and I'm going to put on that one here like this so this is like a lighting effect so I have those two there so the next thing I want to do is create another new layer with this same brush I'm just going to put it on that one here but this one I'm going to use linear dodge add 2 okay so I'm going to make this one smaller and I'm going to push it here like this okay so you can see how much difference this has um, made as regards this design itself so what i want to do is uh, let me move this well in place and like this okay great um i think this is nice here okay nice okay right about now i think if you have not subscribed to this channel now is a good time to subscribe and turn on the post notification right so just for uh bonus tips right um this wasn't supposed to be part of the video but i just i just added to just add some spice to the design itself so click on color balance under adjustment layer and um just make this adjustment this as little as this can make you can see how the flyer is from how it was like this All right, guys. So you can just um, play with these settings and um, just make sure that you are not doing too much with all of this. You can actually tone them down here when you apply these settings, and um, voila, there you go. So, guys, this is how I created this flyer in Photoshop. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.